Hello everyone. I am going to try my best to convey this thought to you. Um, one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible is Ephesians 6 and 12, which states that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules of the darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places, which means that we're not fighting against what we can see right in front of us, the tangible things. We're actually fighting things that we cannot see, uh, things in things that we cannot touch, things that are, in, that are in the spiritual realm. And because of this, it makes the fight that much harder because we're fighting against things that we cannot see or feel or sense with um, sensual perception. Although if we do have the Holy Ghost on the inside of us, which is the Spirit of God, we should be able to discern by the Holy Ghost what is going on, what is going on beyond what we can see with the human eye. And um, a lot of times we're fighting against each other because we don't understand or sometimes we forget that scripture. We forget that we're not fighting against people. We're actually fighting against the spirit, which is the driving force of that person. Um, and this comes into play in relationships as well. Sometimes we can be in a relationship that is really, really, really trying for us. And it just feels like the more we pray about it and the more we try to resolve the situation within the relationship, whether it be a friend, um, husband, wife, uh, mother, father, mother, um, daughter relationship, father, son relationship, whatever relationship you may be dealing with, the, the, whatever you do to try to resolve the issues within the relationship or surrounding the relationship, it seems to get worse. And um, you a lot of times just want to give up on the relationship itself and you just like to walk away if you can, if, if that's possible. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you to remember that it's not the person, although it's hard to see, it's very, very hard to see. That's why it's very important that we stay on our knees and stay before God so that God can sensitize us to what's going on so that we can see beyond what we're seeing. We can perceive the situation, um, on a deeper level and um, um, the Holy Ghost would allow us to see in the spirit what is actually going on. And, um, but it's very, very, very hard to switch from flesh to spirit because if someone makes you upset, all you want to do is deal with that person that's making you upset. And I have a quick temper, so it is very hard for me to deal with people <laughs> who, who rub me the wrong way. And that's why I can definitely tell you that it takes God to bring you to that point and he can do it. But also, and because we are dealing with spirits, we have to know that that spirit knows us. And um, we understand that these spirits that are working in through people, in people against us, or against our relationships to break it up and break it apart. These spirits have been around for ages. These spirits have been around for ages and they're evil spirits that are driven by the enemy. So we have to think of who's actually at the helm of the ship that's against us. The enemy, the devil was an angel. He was an angel. And you have to think of how persuasive and how crafty he was to take a third of the angels out of heaven and turn them against God. So if he was that crafty to take angels that God created and turn them against him, he is definitely able to get into your situation and to make you feel like hope is lost and like 
nothing will ever change. And this devil has been around and um, he knows your family. He knows your bloodline. He knows your weaknesses. So he knows how to get under your skin. He knows um, how to make a person say something that will make you want to give up. He knows how to make them have attitudes. He knows how to set up um, affairs. He knows how to set up things outside of the relationship that will get back into the relationship so that you will want to quit. He knows how to set the board up just like a chess game. And if you let him, he'll have you at checkmate to where you're boxed in and you can't do anything. But you can pray if you remember to do that. And um, what we must always remember to do is to cast our cares upon God. And the Bible says, cast all your cares upon him for he careth for you. Understand that God cares for you. And the only way out of this is to surrender to God. And the enemy has an open door to mess with us through people because of the fact that there are so many things within us that are not surrendered to God. We haven't surrendered our fears. We haven't surrendered our anger. We haven't surrendered our feelings of disappointment. We haven't surrendered our feelings of malice, our feelings of jealousy, whatever is plaguing us, whatever our feelings of loneliness, our feelings of pride, those things have not been surrendered to God. So they become an open door to the enemy to puppet us and to control our lives. We can be in a situation where Everything may be going all right for two to three months. And then the next thing you know, bam, something happens. You're like, I thought the relationship was okay. I thought it was all right. I thought we were doing good. And then something happens and it just spins out of control. You don't know where it came from. It's because there's a door open in your life that needs to be shut. You need to surrender that part to God because no matter how much we talk, that spirit that is going against us knows who we are because it can see us when we're in the house and it can see us in our our private time when we're alone with ourselves and it knows who we are. So no matter how much I may say to the next person, I'm strong, I don't care about this, and this doesn't bother me, and I'm this person, and I'm that person. That spirit that is following you, the enemy knows that that's not the truth. He knows that you're still lonely. He knows that you still struggle with depression. He knows that you still struggle with anger, lust, alcoholism, whatever it is. He knows that you're struggling with it. And until we give it to God and die to that part and allow God to take over that part of us, it will always be an open door for the enemy. So remember, cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. And when we cast that upon him, then we'll be able to fight that thing that's coming against us. Because remember, it's not the person in front of us, it's the driving force behind them. So remember, Always go to God, cast your cares upon him, and trust him to work it out because he understands that which we can't see. Have a great evening and be blessed.